Yeah, my name's Tiago, I'm 21. Um, so about like uh, me with the school and blind sports and stuff, um, I became visually impaired like through birth. Uh, it's a condition where it gets worse over time. It's called retina pigmentosa, uh, RP for short. And um, through some bad decisions in my life, my nystagmus came faster than what it should have, which is the shaking in my eyes, the twitching. Um, but with the blind sports, uh, I've done a lot of sports. I've done football, hockey. Um, I've played basketball, soccer. I've done wrestling for four years, track for three, cross country for three. Um, and the only one that affected my vision, uh, affected all of them, um, but the only one that I had some accommodation for was uh, track and field, which was just running in a visual uh, impaired um, uh, tournament kind of thing, like uh, or competition. Um, with the wrestling, I used the the grip of like contact and stuff, but it uh, um, like I, I didn't enjoy it too much. I, I prefer to be like free. Um, but with the school and stuff, I've um, I've not done any blind sports through this. Um, I just came here for a camp once in a while, and I was I was told um, to perform in jiu-jitsu as well, which I, which I never ended up taking. Um, but that, that's basically me and my history with it. Do you want to talk about your journey through participating in sports camp in the past and now wanting to help out and, and volunteer? Yeah, it was just a lot of fun. Um, I came at 16, I'm 21 now, so it was just a lot of fun. Um, you made, like, I made a lot of friends, uh, good memories. Um, but the willing to help is uh, I've switched my career path from health, wellness, and fitness to uh, wanting to be an EA. Um, to be with kids, help kids uh, with whatever they need. Um, and this was a great opportunity to take. And helping them out is, uh, it's a lot of fun, but I can give a lot of knowledge from my experience and tips and tricks and um, things like that to help someone else to learn in a different way. Is there anything you find, I guess, challenging or is there a barrier to teaching blind sport? There, there actually is. Um, so I was working with uh, one person that was fully blind today, um, and it's if they don't have a visual um, feel of things of like what something might look like, it, it's hard to explain. Like, put your arm there and stuff like that without any direction. So you always want to be specific and explain every step as fluent as possible, which is probably the hardest part. Um, or if you, like for me, I have vision impairment myself, so I might not see someone doing something wrong um, and I can't correct them properly. Those are the two most challenging things, um, mainly in the sport of wrestling and uh, things like that. Do you see yourself like committing to a future with helping the blind sport world at all? Um, you know what? I would have liked to do wrestling um, for myself in a blind sport, um, but to help someone. Um, I think if I was doing anything like uh, like working at the school or with any blind sports in general, um, even working in like a health and wellness kind of field in there, I know I said I didn't want to be in that field, um, but if it's to help with kids and it's nothing um, like what I used to do, um, I think that would be a big help. Do you see any of yourself in the people that you're helping mentor right now when you were back in that place? Honestly, a little bit for uh, for a few of the students here, um, like competitive but fun, uh, and and kind of like just trying to figure out like, you know what, try new things. What am I good at? What am I not? Do I want to pursue this? Um, so I've seen a few few things like that. A um, few people that have some of the attributes of me, but um, I, I just try a lot of things out 